Works with Alexa for voice control. Alexa device sold separately. Wemo is home automation the easy way. Plug in a Wemo switch, download the free app, and start controlling your lights and appliances from anywhere in the world, right from your phone. No hub or subscription required. Why come home to a dark house? Why let the fan run if nobody's home? Set on and off times for your lights and small appliances. Sync lights to sunrise, sunset, and other external events automatically. Create schedules from your phone and change them easily, whenever the mood strikes. The Wemo switch protects your home better than a mechanical timer. In Away Mode, your lights will turn on and off randomly to confuse potential intruders and make it look like somebody is home. Works with Nest Thermostat so your lights and appliances know when you're home or away and respond automatically. Works with any smartphone or tablet running Android 4.1 and higher or iOS 8 and higher. Electrical rating 120V, 15A, 60Hz, 1800W. Top reviews from the United States. Works great. I now own 12 of these Wemo switches and they have been working perfectly for the last 6 months, but that wasn't always the case. I got my first Wemo switch before Christmas 3 years ago to control my Christmas lights. Every month or so they would drop off my home network and the Wemo app showed them as not detected. They just quit working. I would have to unplug and plug them back in to get them working again. It was frustrating, but I thought it was a small price to pay for the convenience. I purchased more Wemo switches to control table lamps and my porch light but the more I had, it seemed the problems go worse. I was resetting these things weekly and sometimes more than once in a day. I wanted to throw them out and customer service didn't have clue. This may be a bit too techy for some people, but this is what I did. One day I had an idea. I know that when a network device has a DHCP assigned IP address, the IP is leased and will change once the lease expires, typically 24 hours. I thought what if I set a static or reserve an IP address in my router that never changes? Voila, that did the trick. I haven't had a single problem since, and that was about six months ago that I made to change.